You know, that's and, that's yeah. actually a really great point. And in, in our local Stoic meetup that we have here in, in Milwaukee, we always have like newcomers coming in and they, you know, mm. they've read this or that and they're going to try something out. And I'll, I'll tell them over and over again, you're going to fail a lot. Um, yeah. And I, I'm still failing a lot myself. But, um, the, you know, like anything at the beginning of it, you fail a ton. If you think of mm. you brought up your musical instrument. Think about learning to play the guitar and putting your fingers in these weird positions. Mm. Um, most of the time, what you do sounds like 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 crap, you know. And mm. then after a while, you start to be able to do a scale and you get better at it. And you still screw up, but now when you screw up, you've you've figured out okay, the song doesn't have to stop here. I can jump right back in. Mm. Yeah, um, and it works that way with exercise, and it works that way with, with with sports, and it works that way with cognitive things as well. Yeah, we we. You know, the Stoics write as if, most of the time, as if, you know, you just do this thing. Yeah. Um, and I think we probably need more reinforcement uh, and support, it, it, you know, just the kind of people that we are today um, and, and hearing, oh, it's okay if you screw up. Just don't let that be where you're going to stay. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I really like that. And and that's so true. It's what you tell everybody who you're trying to help to become a better person. It's like, yeah, you're going to yeah. mess up every single time. Pretty pretty much. And and I, I hate that I keep on coming back to Jordan Peterson. I'm sorry, but like I've, I've been listening a lot. But, but one of the best things that he says is that pretty much nothing that you do in your life will ever be right. Well, like no matter what decision that you make, it's probably going to be wrong in some ways, right? But as long as you are constantly trying to perfect and tr constantly trying to figure out ways that you can navigate that to make it right, it's like, yeah. how do we even know that the career choices that we make in our life are the best possible career choices for us in the long term? We don't. But as humans, oh, we just jump yeah. into yeah. it and we perfect along the way. You know, it's... it's that, yeah, that, that's what I'd say about that. Yeah, I often tell my, my, my students in ethics classes that a lot of ethics is actually figuring out how to fix things after they've been, either you yeah. screwed them up or somebody else screwed them up, you know, mm. um, yeah. rather than just like having the ideal system that then you impose and never never make a mistake with your choices. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter actually... of fact, the people, who are, the people who are lucky and don't make a lot of mistakes uh -huh. early on, they're probably at a disadvantage, right? Because mm. then when the, the mistakes do come, they're, they're not as resilient in, in dealing yeah. with them. And they're very fixed. And um, I, I actually, my, my favorite metaphor for this is, is to do with jazz, right? So I'm a jazz musician. I improvise Ooh. a lot. And I think it's actually, it, it's a, there's this great quote. I can't remember who it's from. I need to figure it out because I say it all the time. But this guy essentially said that um, jazz is essentially at its core uh, a series of miraculous recoveries in that you know <laughs> oh, when, when, I, yeah. when i'm improvising yeah. um i will make mistakes all the time right all the time yeah. there's mistakes but the beauty of jazz is turning that mistake into something that's beautiful something that actually makes sense and so you would even see this with people like miles davis um my my friend uh, a pianist just recently told me the story of herbie hancock this jazz pianist uh playing with miles davis and Herbie Hancock really respected Miles Davis and he, he actually, while they were playing one of Miles's most famous tunes, Kind of Blue, uh, he, mm -hmm. he essentially played the wrong chord in the progression. But in, and he, he froze. He was like, oh my gosh, what have I done? But then Miles yeah. Davis actually started playing the notes of Herbie's chord and made it okay. something that was beautiful and right and perfect, right? And what yeah. that taught Herbie was like, wow, okay, like if you're a real musician, you take something that's imperfect and you make it perfect in the moment because you have that ability. And it's almost as if that's a, an analogy for our rationality as well. It's like nothing in life is perfect, yeah. but what we are able to do is take something that's imperfect, transform it into something that is is right and virtuous if if we can think through it, if that kind of makes sense. That does. And, and so we need, you know, like not necessarily hard and fast rules for that, but like some mm. sort of criteria that helps us determine that. So that's that's mm. where I think you could say the fourth virtue, prudence or practical mm. wisdom yeah. comes in. And, and the Stoics, you know, they thought that that one essentially governs the other virtues. And, and again, you know, it's not something we possess entirely, but it's something that we have to 
try to to work on and, and recognize mm. and build within ourselves. And 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 what's interesting is that so the Stoics thought that um, we human beings, because of our rational nature, <clears throat> we're we're drawn to. Uh, things like truth for its own sake. We value mm. it. We we don't like being deceived. Mm. Um, we we like figuring things out. And so you've got all of this stuff going on, and then that comes into our practical life and helps mm. us be, you know, no, even the people who are screwed up. Well, that's everyone really. Uh, mm. But I, I mean, people who are really really off the track, they they don't want to think that they're they're somehow doing the wrong thing. Hmm. And and um, that's because of a, this 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 drive. We want to be able to make sense out of things, even if we have to distort the whole world to 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 make it fit. Hmm. Um, so stoicism helps us to do less and less of that, and yeah. to and again going back to the in accordance with nature to be able to see reality for what it is and and say, wow, I'm really out of sync with it. I need hmm. to, <laughs> need to yeah. fix this, fix this, and fix this, or I need yeah. to reinforce this. That's that's actually quite good. Um, or I need to be more like this person over here who I see as less of a screw up than, than myself. Mm. 